there's some wet in my car. Yeah. Bloody hell. Ooh. 10p. <laughs> I'm not touching that, but. <laughs> oh. pinky. I Right, I'll start taking out the interior. Oh, somebody else do this for me, please. I'm not looking forward to this one. Seven mil bolt. So just get the seat. So the seat's ready to come out now. All right, same for this side. Take the trims off. One, two. I always find it easier to take these seats out by pulling it upright, headrest down, and a bit more central, and then you'll be able to sort of pivot it round the uh, door post. So what I've just found is the fuel sender or the fuel pump inspection cover. Uh, that was well, a little lift, a little bit more lifted, and I just literally picked it up. And there's possibly water coming from in there. I mean, it's done well to get in. All these carpets are a little bit damp, just around there. So that's a bit of an easy fix. That's just goes back on. But to be honest with you, I think the rest of it can be done while it's bolted to the car. I think it's just best to take the seats out so I can really scrub the carpet. So seat belts need cleaning, door cards, cleaning. Underneath the seats, door card. <laughs> I'm not touching that, but well, what I might do is take all the trims off, potentially spray them black, do the roof line in black, and it might look a little bit more modern inside the car. I don't know if I can be bothered.
have some wet in my car. So just taking off the uh, butt posts. Yeah. So there's some water. Probably some more behind there. Simple, uh, oh yeah, oh my, yeah, look at all that water. All that, right, jolly good. Okay, that's the end of this episode. A couple of things that I found. Water droplets on the inside of the roof. So there is water getting in here, just don't know where. I have seen this before, I just can't remember what the cause of it is. If anybody knows, just comment below. I'm gonna do a bit of research on that. But all that needs cleaning up, or the interior needs cleaning up. But I thought while I'm doing it, um, I think I'm gonna spray all the, the trims, uh, these sort of trims, black tidy them up spray them black and I'm gonna do the roof line in as well so the last time I saw this happen this little guy here I think this is the receiver for the keys and so inside there you might be able to see there's some green in there but I've never had any problems with the keys so I'm gonna take this apart have a look inside and see if I can just clean all that up but as it is at the moment obviously I disconnected that so the keys aren't working so I'll quickly plug that back in where that goes one of these connectors, no, three pin, might be this one, yeah, so it's on that one, and hopefully it should work, Um, bogger, okay, that's my bad, there's two connectors that can fit in that, anyway, it's one of these, it's this one here, Um, so, Hopefully you can see the connector there. Focus, focus, focus. It's also a little bit green. So the water's got in there, or moisture's got in there. Well, hopefully it's survived. So if I plug, plug, plug. So if I plug it in there, hopefully central locking should work. Yeah, there we go. So if you get any key issues, that could be your problem. This little unit here, that could be the problem. And I think these are very expensive. Okay, cheers guys, thank you very much.